How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a nice day. Today we're going to take a look at how I was able to get over 35,000 Capital Peak points this last raid weekend by attacking all different bases. So let's jump right into the first one, which is the Capital Peak. We're attacking in the middle. Going to times two it since we're using bunch of different strategies try to make the video not quite as long so hang in there as we watch each and every one first we use a P.E.K.K.A. and a couple of archers to take out the district hall we have the graveyard up top working on the expo with a graveyard in the middle over the air bombs and we're patiently waiting for the skeletons and the archer to take out the northern air bombs then it is time for the deployment. Sending in the balloons, one to two packs per defense. Trying to clear as much of the base as possible. Fortunately, we just don't quite have enough juice to really get through all of the defenses. So now we'll speed up, look at the cleanup. Just grabbing a few more trash buildings. But on average, we'll be getting around 6,000... I think 200 per attack, which is kind of crazy. So we got almost 6,000 from that first one. The rest are from, the rest of them are all from the next clan, which is kind of crazy. Starting off with a skeleton park. Now a lot of times I like to use a cleanup attack, but specifically for the skeleton park, I really enjoy using a first hit strategy. So that involves dropping a P.E.K.K.A. and one ram on the first box, using a ram to open up this wall section, two barbarians down south, two barbarians to the Tesla, using a ram and a barbarian to the wizard tower, clear out that little rectangle, and then dropping a pack of minions up top to take out the giant cannon. We're using a, the P.E.K.K.A. and one pack of hogs down below, as well as a ram to open up the wall. And then we use one ram since we noticed that the Tesla was on our P.E.K.K.A. in the core. Now it's just a matter of trying to get closer and closer to the last big threat, which is the Minion Hut. Drop our last pack of hogs on the remaining Tesla. And now we're just going to see how much we can get, how long this P.E.K.K.A. can survive before it is eventually taken out. The death damage and the last little hog gets us 6,300. Next up, we're actually looking at a Dragon Cliffs cleanup. We did one pack of archers to take out that super low health dragon. And then we're dropping in the hogs. Drop down a couple, and then a couple more slightly later, so that we could actually stun some additional defenses. Then we're just throwing in all the rest. The only other splash damage that's a threat is this bomb tower. So we drop a preemptive heal spell on top of it so that when it explodes, all the hogs are going back to full. We have a couple of barbarians and a couple of rams to help clean up. As you can see, once all the super dragons are gone, the dragon cliffs is very, very easy to take out. Besides the dragons, there's only really the blast bow and then I think three bomb towers at Capital Peak level 9. Next up, we're looking at a Golem Quarry cleanup. We have both the rocket artillery is very, very low health. And we drop some of our graveyards over the blast bow, the multi-mortar, and I believe this multi-mortar. Spread out our troops in a line so that the rocket artillery rockets don't splash and instantly kill all of our super wizards. So if you can keep your super wizards alive in the graveyard ground spam strategy, then you are doing very, very good. Next up, we'll take a look at a Balloon Lagoon cleanup. This one worth just under 6,000. We dropped two of our graveyards on the back end rocket artillery. Because there's no other splash damage in that area, so we can very easily take that out. 
Then we're going to deploy our troops in a line. Try to create two packs as they funnel. One to the opening below the mountains. And the one to the right side of the mountains. But once those rocket artillery go down, there is not really anything left to defend. And we've got the Inferno Towers, but as you can see, we have a whole army approaching. And this base got wrecked. Bust through the wall and take out that air defense. We even get a bonus 96 points. And last but not least, we are taking a look at almost a cleanup of a barbarian camp. And I say almost because this base is worth almost 8,000 points. Needless to say, when this was happening, it was about like 10 minutes away from the uh, raid weekend being over. So, not the greatest strategy, but this is the final attack that got me, you know, those few extra thousand points to get up to 35,000. So as we can see here, we're trying to get to the centralized air bombs, but it is just devastating our balloons. They're having a really hard time. They finally get to it, but we have no more balloons left to drop. And there are one, two, three, four air targeting defenses left. So we would need at least four packs of balloons. Speed up a little bit through the cleanup. Grab a couple extra buildings as they're just out of range. And we get 5,710 points. So it's kind of crazy attacking all different bases, but if you have good strategies for each base, hopefully you can do the same. If you want to help me out, I welcome you to like and subscribe. It helps me out immensely. And there'll be a couple more videos on the screen in case you want to keep on watching. Thank you so much. Take care.